Hello. Uh, in this video, we will discuss the second and the third assumptions related to OLS regression. As you remember, the first one was just about linearity in parameters. And actually, this is something you just assume. Yeah? You cannot go wrong in terms of linearity in parameters. When it comes to the second and the third assumption, it becomes more complicated because it requires some analysis of the data. The second assumption states that there is no dependency between the value of independent variable and the value of error term or residual. So we measure this dependency using covariance and here is the formula. So you always calculate covariance between uh, two values, two variables, as the ratio of the sum of products of distances between empirically observed values and average values and the number of observations. And yes, as I said before, if there is indeed no dependency, it means that covariance is equal to zero. It sounds very complicated. Uh, probably it will be easier to make some visualization to make you understand what I'm talking about. So in order to do this, you have to go back to the output of the model, save residuals, So now I have all the values of those distances between empirically observed values and predicted values of the independent variable. So based on this, I can design a graph. I go back to the main menu. I choose residuals as dependent variable and GDP per capita as independent variable. It's not really important because when uh, we calculate covariance, we assume no hierarchy between the variables, but why not? This is just for the purpose of visualization. We just want to see how those two values correspond to each other. And OK, so this is the graph. Uh, it's also depicted here for the sake of simplicity. So you can see that for relatively small values of GDP per capita, you have relatively high values of residuals. And for the higher values of GDP per capita, they are smaller. So it's not enough to make any conclusion about covariance. But nevertheless, it still gives you some idea. You see, it's not really true that there is no dependency between those variables. Of course, it will require more precise calculations. There are statistical tests we do not cover in this video in order to check whether this assumption is fulfilled. But nevertheless, you got the basic idea. So we assume that the value of residual is independent from the value of independent variable or explanatory variable and if this assumption is not fulfilled we are not really able to use OLS model for estimation. So basically it implies that estimation is not valid. The third assumption states that there is zero mean value of stochastic term disturbance. Again, I will explain. So it means that expected value of residual is equal to zero. Informally, we expect positive deviations to cancel out negative deviations. So the average is equal to zero. Okay, I will explain. So this is some hypothetical regression line. If assumption three is fulfilled, so you have error terms, the distances between empirical value and predicted value of y, and those are equal. So this distance is equal to this distance, this distance is equal to this distance, and so on. So when you add all of those distances together, 
the average value will be equal to zero. And you can also elaborate on some visual analysis in order to investigate whether this assumption is fulfilled or not. And you can definitely see that for this fraction, uh, residuals are on average equal to zero. So there are positive values and negative values and approximately they are equal. However, here you have a big portion of empirical values below the regression line and a relatively small portion of observations above the regression line. So probably it will not result in the average value of residual equal to zero. Again, this is just to give you some general idea. Uh, there are more complicated statistical tests we usually use for this purpose. So this visual analysis is not something common you do in order to come up with the conclusion whether the assumption is fulfilled or not. But nevertheless, it might just give you some very general idea regarding this issue. Okay, so in the next video, we will proceed to the fourth and uh, consequent uh, assumptions of OLS estimation. So thank you for your attention.